Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this pink glittery monkey fingerlings cake topper. So let's get right into it. To make the head and body, I'm rolling out this oval shape as well as this fat teardrop shape. I have some fondant that I dyed with a little bit of ivory food coloring and I'm rolling it out and using my heart cutter. And then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and just trim away the bottom using my reference photo. I will link the one that I used below. I'm just blunting down the edges and then placing that on top of my head. Using my balling tool, I'm creating the two eye sockets and then just two little black balls of fondant, either one for the eyes. To create my eyelids, I'm using a piping tip and cutting out a little circle of that ivory fondant. And then with my X-Acto knife, I'm just trimming off the top and bottom and placing those on the top of my black eyes. I added a little circle of that ivory fondant about halfway on the bottom of the ivory, just extending over onto the pink. And then with my X-Acto knife, I'm marking in a smile. And with my little fondant tool, I'm just indenting the nose. With two more balls of fondant, I'm using my fondant tool just to indent the middle of that. And then with my X-Acto knife, I'm cutting off one end and then putting it on either side of the head for some cute little monkey ears. Mine just stuck in place on their own, but if you need the extra security, you can just add a little bit of water. To create the arms and legs, I rolled out four little sausage shapes. For the legs, they go kind of like up and down. They have a curve and the arms are pretty straightforward. For the ends that are gonna be pressed against my fat teardrop shape, I just pressed those against my work surface so I didn't have to like mush them against the body and get it all out of shape. The tail is pretty straightforward, just this long snaky shape, and I just curled it into like a U-E swirly shape. I took some time just to position each limb, how they're gonna sit once I add the glitter. I don't wanna be touching them too much because the glitter will just come off on my fingers and make a big mess. So this way you just have an idea of where they're gonna sit. So when you're done with the glitter, you can just place them gently on and then you're done. Once all my pieces were ready to go, I brushed each one with a little bit of shortening and then taking my disco dust, I just dusted that over each piece. I will link the one that I used below and then just gently picked up each piece and shook off the excess glitter. If you have any blank spots, you can just reapply some shortening and then add a little more glitter and you're good to go. To attach them to the body, I just brushed the back of each piece with a little bit of water and then positioned them. They stuck pretty good for me, but you might need to add like a little piece of saran wrap just as a buffer in between the arm and the leg, just so they dry in place and they don't slip down. To make my little hands and feet, I have more of my ivory fondant and I'm rolling that out into this oval shape and just mushing it down against my work surface. And then with my X-Acto knife, I'm cutting out five fingers and then just blunting and rounding out the ends of each one of those. You can see here I have all four limbs and the tail on the body and I've just inserted a cake pop stick into the center so I have a spot to put the head on. I didn't need anything but a little bit of water to attach the hands but you can use a piece of floral wire if you find they're not staying in place or a piece of spaghetti. And then the head I just slipped it onto the top. I didn't need any water to help secure that but if you find it's a little bit wiggly you can just add a little bit. And lastly, for the cute little tuft of hair, I just rolled out a teardrop shape, mushed it against my work surface, and ran my X-Acto knife over it so it looked a little more choppy. And here she is all done. I believe this one's name is Rose. I'm not currently into fingerlings, so I'm not too sure on all of their names. But I hope you liked this tutorial. You could definitely use this as a cake topper or for cupcakes if you wanted to make smaller ones. And you could use this tutorial to basically make any of the other fingerlings. It's a good base for you to start with. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it.